Guys, welcome to the webinar. Uh, we'll get started in just a minute. Just want to do a quick audio check. If you can hear me, just type, uh, type something into the chat box and let me know that you got me loud and clear today. Perfect. Ah, my brother, Mr. Zatovsky. Nice of you to join, my friend. All right, guys, three o'clock. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I've got a busy, super busy day today, as I'm sure you do as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get down to it. First of all, I want to thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day. Uh, we'll keep this pretty brief today, actually. You're going to try to uh, clock in at 20, 25 minutes. So uh, like I said, I want to be super respectful of your time, but give you uh, some, some different things that you can do to get involved with us uh, as far as buying uh, some REO bank-owned assets. Uh, so whether you are uh, a fix and flipper, a wholesaler, a, uh, somebody that wants to buy and hold for rent or create some notes, uh, you're going to have a good opportunity to get involved and, and help uh, grow your business. So and we would love to be a part of that. Uh, basically, what we do, uh, and first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Ben Fredericks. I am one of the uh, co-founders of Odell Barnes REO. And we're one of the largest buyers of distressed REOs and auction properties in the U.S. Uh, my partner uh, has been doing this for about 40 years, and I've been fortunate to sort of uh, hook up with him and, and help him grow his business and reach a new audience. And uh, basically what we've done is created great relationships with banks uh, and auction companies that allow us to buy properties at pennies on the dollar. So just a quick disclaimer, investing is a risk and, you know, we don't make any guarantee that you're going to make any kind of rate of return um, in real estate markets, you know, they change and they could change soon. Who knows? Uh, so my crystal ball is broken. Uh, if yours works, you know, please direct that uh, knowledge to me. But at any rate, you should only invest uh, without speculating. That's a hard lesson I learned myself uh, and make sure that you do your own due diligence and invest at your own risk and only buy what you can afford. So let's ask the question, why are you here? Well, you probably want to acquire more real estate deals. You're looking to find more deals that you could fix and flip and maybe find more potential rental properties for your portfolio. And ultimately, just like me, you're looking to create more freedom. That's what real estate's all about, right? So it helps us buy time. So when we have uh, rental properties or notes, you know, that are creating passive cash flow for us, that's really what we're doing is we're using other people's money to create time for ourselves. Uh, it's our most valuable asset and it's an asset we never get back once it's spent. 
So when I got into real estate investing, and I think most people are like this, you might have your own set of goals, but mine was really ultimately to create more freedom so I could spend time doing the things that I wanted to do. I don't want to be an old man before I get the opportunity to do those things. So I'd like to do them while I still have some energy. I still can travel. I can, still can do the things that I love. I have my health. I can show my daughter uh, some great things in the world. And real estate allows me to do those things. So why we're here? Well, we have more deals than we can handle. I mean, we get an opportunity to buy a lot of deals. And for, for us, quite frankly, this is a volume business. Uh, it's, we, it's as many deals as, as we can turn. Uh, so if we can find buyers for the deals, it, it works out great for us. And ultimately, we can provide you with a great deal on a piece of property. And really, my biggest thing that has helped me in this business has been relationships. There's nothing better than having a win-win relationship with people that you know are, are targeted on goals together. Uh, they, they walk the same line in terms of you know, uh, morals and values. And we wanna have more relationships with people like that, people that are serious about being investors all around the country. And we also wanna increase our ability to work with people just like you and do even more deals in the marketplace. So here's what we're gonna to cover today. I'm gonna to show you how you can buy some distressed properties at pennies on the dollar and how you can virtually sell these properties around the country just like we do and how you can get exclusive first look access to our newest inventory. All right, that's probably the biggest component of this. So these are, for lack of a better word, the, the types of assets that we buy. They're distressed properties. They tend to be uh, the leftovers that the bank just could not get rid of. They've maybe gone through several auction cycles and a lot of people will turn their nose up at these deals, and I'm glad they do, uh, because at the end of the day, uh, we've done very, very well with them, and there's a tremendous opportunity in this particular footprint of the, the real estate business. So uh, obviously not all the properties look exactly like this, but just to give you the gist of it, you know, these properties are distressed. Um, sometimes they can have a, a significant amount of damage. Sometimes they just need lipstick and they're ready to go. So it really just depends, but, and it also depends upon the market that they're in and maybe how long the bank has been sitting on them. But our average purchase price is about 12,000 bucks. So that gives you an idea of, of what we're typically working with. So if you are into fix and flips, I'm just gonna share some case studies with you guys. And by the way, you can look up all of these deals. It's all public record. So if you wanna jot down the address and look stuff up, please do so, all right? We don't have anything to hide. We do everything above board. And uh, if you didn't, you'll run out of this business very quickly uh, in today's day and age with the internet. So it's very important to us that we share uh, actual results and you know, so that you can get an idea and, and decide if investing in these types of properties is good for you, all right? So this is a property that we did in uh, Stuttgart, Arkansas. We picked up this property uh, for, let's see, our investor bought this property from us for about 19,000. If I'm not mistaken, I think we bought this deal for about 12. And our investor came in, did a fix and flip on it, uh, renovated the entire inside of the property, uh, ended up selling it for about 78,000. Great thing about this property was a brick structure. So structurally it was very sound. Uh, and all he had to do was come in and do some interior updates. Uh, and he, he had a, a tidy profit on this one. This actually was the first deal uh, that I did with this particular investor who went on to go, went on to buy several. Uh, he probably is, was one of my biggest buyers last year. This is a property in Crestview, Florida. Uh, one thing to note, like if you look at that last property, Stuttgart, Arkansas, and this one, Crestview, Florida, you're like, probably like, where in the hell are those? Well, a lot of the properties that we buy, they're not in met major metropolitan areas. So if you're looking for deals in Atlanta, Charlotte, uh, Orlando, places that are very hot markets, we're not going to have those deals. Most of our deals are going to be on the outskirts. So, and, and that, works just, that works out just fine for us. The great thing about the outskirts, people live there and people tend to stay there. All right. So there's always going to be buyers in those markets regardless. But uh, this is a particular deal that we did in Crestview, Florida. Uh, I think we bought this one for around eight or 9,000 bucks, sold it to our investor for 15.5. Uh, what was funny about this property, if you look at the picture, it's kind of hard to tell, but on the roof, there's a big tarp. 
Um, everybody that went to see this property told us that it should be torn down and that it was, you know, uh, it was full of mold. Well, our investor who has a, a crew that goes around the country and does these types of deals, that kind of stuff doesn't scare him. So like I said, you gotta be a special kind of, uh, a special kind of crazy sometimes to do these deals. But he went in and bought this deal uh, and ended up doing a rehab on it. Uh, sent me a video of it, did an amazing job uh, and turned around and sold it for about 85,000. So I think he put uh, all in about 40 grand into this property. So he made a, uh, made a profit. So this is a deal that we did in Newton, New Jersey. We actually sold this to a wholesaler uh, and we do work with wholesalers under certain conditions. So if you're looking to do wholesaling, that's fine. Uh, we just have a, a certain uh, way that we structure those deals, but we sold this to him for 39,000 and he turned around and did a double close on it and sold it for 53,000. So he had a nice little day there. So I don't care. Like a lot of people will look at that and say, oh my God, you left money on the table. Realistically, we don't care. All right. So we want people to make money on these deals because it means they're going to come back and do more deals. So if we tried to hit a home run on every single deal, eventually we'd be run out of the business because you're going to have situations where somebody's going to say, well, there just wasn't enough meat on the bone on that deal for it to make sense. And if you've done any kind of research on real estate, if you have wholesalers sending you deals, you know that a lot of those deals, they're not actually deals. So you look at them and they're like 80% of the ARV and it's just, you know, the, the property needs a ton of work. Look, those people are never going to make it in this business. Uh, it, it, you have to leave meat on the bone for your investors. You have to have them make a profit on the deal. Otherwise, what's the point? They're just not going to work with you anymore. And that's always been our, our, uh, our sort of vision for this company is to create great value for our investors. So we, again, like I said at the beginning, create long lasting, ongoing and profitable relationships. So if cash flow is your thing and you are uh, into rentals or perhaps owner financing, let's talk a, a couple of these types of deals. So this is a deal that we uh, recently sold in Scranton, PA. Uh, we literally, I think we just closed on this about two weeks ago. Uh, we sold to one of our buy and hold investors for about 7,000 uh, bucks. We bought this deal uh, only for 4,000. So it was a quick turnaround deal for us, but this was sold to one of uh, my investors that buys a couple of deals a month from us. So for us, it's all about maintaining that relationship and moving forward. And realistically, we only had the deal for a week before somebody took it off of our hands. So that kind of velocity of capital, when you look at that ROI over, if you can turn that money, you know, six more times in a year is incredible. So you know, you can look and say, oh my God, you only made $3,000. Well, if I only made $3,000 in a week and I could do that, you know, several more times throughout the year with the same money, it becomes to, uh, it, it gets very interesting. So uh, at any rate, they purchased this property. They're going to probably put about 30K into this deal. Uh, so they'll be all in for about 37,000. This property would probably rent for about 900 bucks a month. And they've got a, a sweet little cap rate there. If you are into notes at all, uh, and by the way, I'm going to have a, uh, a special thing for you here at the end in terms of uh, learning more about notes if you have an interest. But if you are into notes, which we love notes, it's one of our favorite things to do is owner financing. Uh, notes are interesting. Some people, you know, there's always a, 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 a debate on what's better, rentals or notes. And the answer is both. They're both great. Rentals have great advantages. Uh, notes have great advantages. So the thing I love most about notes for me is that they don't require a lot of oversight. I'm not having to mess with tenants, termites, or toilets. Uh, really, I'm just uh, finding the right buyer for this property, underwriting them carefully, and then you know collecting the monthly payment through my servicing company. So this is a deal that the investor bought for fifteen thousand bucks from us uh, and did owner finance. They sold it for forty thousand, got four thousand dollars down, four seventy a month on a ten year note. That ROI is just awesome. Now they have an asset that they can sell. They can sell a partial. They can sell a certain number of the payments. It's, it creates a lot of interesting things that you can do, which are a big reason why I love notes. So currently we have about 124 properties in inventory. 
in about 25 different states. Our sweet spots are from Texas to the East Coast. We do a lot of rust belt properties. Southeast is probably our favorite. We love Ohio, Indiana, Michigan as well. Um, but these are typically the areas in which we buy. We don't get much out West. So, uh, but when, uh, when we do, they're typically good deals. So if you're into California or Arizona, you know, uh, or even uh, uh, Texas, Texas is probably our favorite state. I wish we got more deals there than we do. Um, but when, when we do get them, they're fantastic deals. So if you ever see something that comes out in Texas, uh, California, Arizona, uh, and it's on our website, it's something you probably are going to want to take a very close look at. So we can do single deals. You can cherry pick, decide you know, if you wanna buy uh, just one particular deal. And then we can also set up where we can do exclusive package deals of properties. So you could take down you know, 10, 15, 20 properties. Uh, so if you wanna play into that game, you certainly can. If you've got private money behind you, that's a great way to do it. Uh, if you have any offers, you can definitely uh, direct them towards me or call our office. Uh, let's talk about some of the deals we've got in inventory. This is a property in Gilberttown, Alabama. I'm just going to run through some samples of deals that we have right now. It's a four bedroom, three bath on an acre of land uh, for about 14K. All right. This property uh, is, I believe it's completely gutted on the inside. So it needs an entire new rehab and you can see it's going to need a roof too. Uh, here's a property we, just, uh, we picked up in Blytheville, Arkansas. It's currently occupied. So uh, we got to get that person out of there. Uh, so the, the previous person that owned the property, they just never left. So we're dealing with that right now. That rarely happens. I'd say that's probably one to 2% of all the deals that we buy. Uh, but it does happen from time to time. This is actually a great deal. Once we get that person out, it's a three, two, about 2,200 square feet for about 30 grand. And I think this property, uh, after repair, after you go and do some updates is probably worth uh, 70, 75,000 bucks. Here's a deal in Columbia, South Carolina. Col South Carolina always goes quick for us. We just got this property. It's a four bedroom, two bath for about 38,000. Median value in this area is 115. Uh, again, this is a deal interior wise needs rehab, updating new kitchen, uh, update the bathrooms, painting floor, and it'll be good to go. And uh, this will make a very solid rental or even an owner finance deal uh, for a note. Columbia is uh, a great area. This one's in Minnesota in a town I never heard of before, but we've always done very well in Minnesota. Just 15,000 for this property. Ever, uh, median value for that town is about 65,000. Small little town. We might end up selling this on an owner finance. Great thing about little towns, like I said before, a lot of people love them and they just never leave them. So I have a lot of, I grew up in Iowa in the Midwest. I have family that lives in very small towns. They never left. They love it there. It's a great place. I love to go to visit, uh, but I wouldn't live there, but there's always people that would want to live there. So, you know, these deals are always uh, great owner finance deals for us. Nine times out of 10. Cleveland, Ohio, one of my favorite markets. Our deals never last longer, very long there. This is a duplex in Cleveland for about 12,000 bucks. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we got this property under contract today. I will have to check, but if you have an interest in it, uh, just shoot me an email. I'll be glad to uh, double check on that for you, but I, I'm pretty sure I saw that uh, we had an offer come in on it. I don't know if they've signed the contract yet, so technically this still could be available. Uh, but Cleveland always flies off the shelf when we get there. That market is crazy hot right now. Uh, Newcastle, Indiana, a uh, nice little bungalow style house, 8,500 bucks. Uh, estimated rent in that area is about 650. Again, guys, these are, just crazy deals that you can get into, uh, go in. If you've got a crew or if you've got boots on the ground in any one given area, you can go in and get deals fixed up uh, relatively cheap in these small towns and get somebody in there and get a cash flowing. Another Cleveland deal. Uh, this one is 9,000 bucks, a two one. As you can see, probably needs some new siding or at least paint, uh, scrape and paint. If you ever had to do that in the summertime, that's not a fun job. So, you know, Maybe that was just me. I, my dad had me doing stuff like that, but uh, Cleveland, Ohio, great market. Uh, another Indiana property, this one for 7,900 bucks. I, you know, it's funny. I had somebody comment on my Facebook post about when we were advertising this webinar 
saying you cannot find deals for that cheap. It's impossible. And it's only impossible what your mind allows it to believe. So I hope that person is here on this webinar today. Uh, so you're seeing that, you know, we can find these deals. These deals are available and, you know, they're great opportunities. Uh, we do buy land as well. This is a great piece of property just outside of Asheville. Uh, this is actually in a very nice community. Uh, the properties in there are, are $200,000 plus. So this is a one and a quarter acre double lot for 40,000. 10 acres of land in Mississippi for 11,000 bucks. So just over a uh, thousand bucks an acre or a little less than a thousand bucks an acre, but a um, little, little great deal here. Uh, there's just nothing there. So if you're into vacant land and you want to develop or uh, you want to build a spec house, something like that, we have those opportunities as well. Clarksdale, Mississippi, cute little house for just 9,900 bucks. Again, these make great rentals or owner finance, typically on an owner finance deal, in case you're not familiar with that, we will typically sell those for two and a half to three times uh, what we bought them for. So the ROI on it is pretty great, especially when you get a good size down payment. So owner financing is, uh, is you can start to see if you do the math a little bit, why I tend to love it so much. Uh, this property, did I just updated this right before I jumped on the call. Uh, this one did just get placed under contract in Rock Island, Illinois, which is actually close to my hometown in Davenport, Iowa. So this deal is uh, no longer available. Uh, you can buy a package, like I was saying before. So these are just some package deals that we currently have available. So if you're into those at all, uh, reach out to me and we can definitely work something out. Um, these are all you know, properties that and when we do a package deal, you're going to save more, obviously. Think of it as like buying a Costco. Uh, and these are great opportunities to, to take them down if you've got, like I said, some private money uh, behind you or, or maybe some self-directed funds that you can work with. The average price uh, for the property in those packages is $15,619. All right. So that gives you an idea, you know, on any given one of these properties, you know, what the average uh, cost per door would be. So let me tell you a little bit about how we sell these properties. So if you're thinking, hey, I'd like to get involved and maybe pick up a couple of deals here or there, I'm gonna share with you exactly how we sell these properties. Uh, basically, we've got, uh, Facebook is probably our primary source. Uh, we work with a lot of local realtors. We do Craigslist, local Facebook groups. Uh, those little buy sell groups are awesome. Think of them as like little garage sale communities inside each, you know, if you type into Facebook, buy, sell Cleveland, you know, there might be 20,000 people in that. And that's just amazing free advertising that you can get and a lot of eyes on your property. Facebook marketplace is huge for us. Uh, and then also we work with a lot of local property managers where we'll call and uh, look to develop relationships with investors that might be looking for more deals. But our number one source is actually relationships. So, you know, some of uh, our best people that we've worked with are people we've worked with over and over and over again. So, you know, like I said, I can't, I can't stress enough. Relationships are so important to our business uh, and there's nothing more valuable to us than a great relationship with another investor. So how can you get on our buyers list? If you're not, you might already be on it. Um, and if you are, that's great. You can also join, we have a free Facebook group. And then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about becoming a premier partner investor with us. Uh, it's just a unique opportunity. It's not going to be for everybody. So if it doesn't work for you, that's okay. You can still join our free Facebook group. Uh, these are just some referrals or uh, uh, testimonials that we've gotten, people that we've sold properties to that uh, bought a house. This is one of my favorite testimonials I ever got with that little girl. Uh, she had a, uh, they got an opportunity to buy a home and uh, we owner finance that deal for them. And then uh, several other cash buyers that we've worked with over time. I, uh, two out of three of these are brand new investors. Uh, you know, they never bought a property before they started working with us and we got their foot in the door. And I, I'm so thankful for that because somebody did that for me and you know, somebody helped me and I, I'm really just trying to pay that forward. So again, if you don't join our premier partner group, that's fine. 
Like if you, I'll still help you regardless. So it's just a unique opportunity to get a first look. So I'll, I'll cover that a little bit about that now. So basically you can leverage our relationships. Um, we get unique opportunities to buy deals that most people cannot get just because of the volume in which we buy and that we always close. We always close. So there are deals that could be on auction.com or zone. And I've had examples where guys are the high bidder on the deal and we still buy the property for less than they were the high bidder for. And we've gotten a call from them and saying, Hey, I, I was a high bidder. I met the reserve. How did you guys win this property? And we've actually bought it for less. And the reason is, is because the bank knows we're not going to back out of the deal. That is like our, uh, our greatest testimonial is it's what we're known for is closing the deal. So if you want to join our premier partner and leverage our relationships, you can do that. You can get early access to our property seven days before we put them out to public. So that'll give you ample time to check them out or have somebody go check them out for you. And you'll also get some premier partner pricing. So remember how I said on that one deal um, where, you know, we only held the property for a week, you're going to get much better pricing. Uh, if I got to take that property to market and then, you know, pay our staff and all that stuff. Uh, so it's just going to be quick money and an easy transaction. So we're going to uh, allow you to, to get some perks with that. You get, we'll have a free private Facebook group as well. So we'll be able to uh, network and share strategies in there on deals that you're trying to, to acquire and sell. And then we'll also, uh, you know, do some uh, marketing strategy sessions and maybe some future opportunities to mastermind together. Uh, as you build your business, we can share some of our industry uh, best practices. So to join our Facebook group, it's absolutely free. So if you uh, just go to this link right here, Odell Barn or facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Odell Barnes REO Investors, you can go and join that Facebook group absolutely free, which you should do regardless. All right. So there's going to be some great networking opportunities in there. We've got several hundred people in there already, which is really exciting. Um, it's just an, a, a platform for us to uh, post our deals and answer any questions that you might have uh, on deals that we get or, you know, the REO auction game in general. Option two, you can join our Facebook group, Premier Partners, for just 300 bucks and $30 a month. Uh, you can cancel at any time. So if you're like, hey, I'm six months into this and I've not got a deal, that's fine. All right. So you can totally cancel. Um, but you know, you should do this if you are seriously looking for deals to buy and get advantages that few people are going to get. All right. So right now we've only always had it so that basically our, uh, our inventory goes out to our entire database all at the same time. So this is just something new that we're doing where you're going to get an exclusive opportunity, uh, to buy these properties before anybody else. So if you want to uh, do that, Oh, and as an added bonus, uh, for the first five to sign up as premier investors, you're going to get a free ticket to our Node Investor Summit. Uh, I just joined up with this. It's going to be in uh, Anaheim, directly across the street from Disneyland. Uh, it's going to be February 27th through the 29th next year. And that's a $400 value. So basically, you're going to make all your money back uh, that you spend in the value of that, uh, just saving money from a ticket. Uh, but this will be, if you want to learn about notes, this is going to be an opportunity to come in and check this out. And, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of experts in the industry. So uh, if you're into the owner financing game or you want to learn more about uh, apartment buildings or self-directed IRAs or anything else that's going to help take you to the next level, this will be a, a, a great opportunity to come and, and get a free ticket. So here's what to do next. If you're interested, uh, there's a link in the, uh, in the chat box, but you can head over to odellbarnesreo.com forward slash premier partners and apply right there. And that's it. Um, so if I can answer any questions for you, I'm glad to do so. Feel free to uh, type anything into the chat box and I'll be glad to, to answer any of those questions for you.
All right. Well, I'm going to, if you don't have questions, like I said, I wanted to keep it short and sweet today, guys. So um, I did it in exactly 27 minutes. So again, if you're interested, go over to uh, odellbarnsreo.com, Premier Partners, or go to our Facebook group, Odell Barnes REO Investors, and uh, join us there. Uh, we'll look forward to helping you any way that we can acquire more properties. And stay tuned. We'll be doing these um, pretty consistently as we release new inventory. But all of our new inventory uh, is going to get released into that free Facebook group first after it's gone to the Premier Partners for at least seven days. So I will let you guys get back to your day. I appreciate you coming by to scope us out, and we'll look forward to talking with you later.